In his four months in office, Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte has not shied from controversy. He's handed his military and police robust powers, declared a war on drugs that's left thousands dead, and now a new announcement. He says his impoverished nation of 100 million will take in any and all refugees. They can always come here, and we will welcome them until we are filled to the brims, and it's all right. Over a month, Duterte gave 101 East unfettered access to his many campaigns. He's already spending hundreds of millions in a war to crush the armed group Abu Sayyaf in the south. Go, go, go. He's devoting even more to funding his battle against illicit drugs. Come on. Come on. Come on. These guys, I really do not know what's under my The president says his decision to welcome refugees is due to a failure by the West to help. They seem to be very accommodating, all human rights. And suddenly they change course, say, oh no, you stay there. We build a wall, barbed wire, and all the hypocrisy is there, staring at us eyeball to eyeball. The EU and US have accused him of violating human rights by using death squads to kill drug dealers. And he's pissed off by so many calls from Europe. Oh, you should not put people to death. Uh, On the presidential plane, he argues he's saving his country and now trying to save others in need. If I look like a bad boy to them, I really don't give a shit. Who are they to me? They're nothing. It's hard to know how genuine Duterte's offer to refugees is. He often changes his mind. But on his dislike for Western powers, that is unlikely to change anytime soon. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera, The Philippines.